we want to evaluate the definite integral. Before we do this, though, notice how we have the graph of the integrand function here in blue, which is non-negative, and then we have the vertical lines x equals zero and x equals one-third, which are the limits of integration. So because the integrand is non-negative over this closed interval, the value of this def integral will give us the area of this shaded region. To evaluate this, let's begin by factoring out the four in the numerator. So we'd have four times the integral of one divided by the quantity one plus nine x squared integrated with respect to x from zero to one-third. To find the antiderivative, we'll be using this integral formula here where a squared is equal to one and u squared is equal to nine x squared. So if a squared equals one, a equals one, and if u squared equals nine x squared, then u equals three x. So if u equals three x, then differential u would be equal to three dx. So if we solve this for dx, notice how dx would be equal to one-third du, which means we do have to perform u substitution to evaluate this integral. So let's go ahead and write this in terms of u now. We can write this as four times the integral of one divided by the quantity one, which does equal a squared, plus if u is equal to three x, then nine x squared would be u squared. And then dx is equal to one third du. So let's put the du here and we'll factor out the one third. Let's also find the limits of integration in terms of u rather than x. So notice when x is zero, u is equal to three times zero, so u is still zero. And then when x is one third, u is equal to three times one third or one. So let's rewrite this as four thirds times the integral of one divided by the quantity a squared plus u squared du from zero to one. And now we'll find the antiderivative with respect to u. So we have four thirds, then the antiderivative is going to be one divided by a, but a is one, so the coefficient is one which we can ignore. And then we have arctangent of u divided by a, and again, if a is one, this is just u. Because we found the limits of integration in terms of u, we'll now evaluate this at one and zero, and then find the difference. So we have four thirds times, so when u is one, we have arctangent one, and then when u is zero, we have minus arctangent zero. So we'd have four thirds times, for arctangent one, we're looking for an angle in radians that has a tangent function value of one, and then for arctangent zero, we're looking for an angle that has a tangent function value of zero. So just for review, looking on the unit circle, we're looking for an angle between negative pi over two radians and pi over two radians. That has a tangent function value of one, where tangent theta is equal to sine divided by cosine, or y divided by x. So notice that pi over four radians has a tangent function value of one, and zero radians would have a tangent function value of zero. So we have four thirds times pi over four minus zero, or just four thirds times pi over four which simplifies nicely to pi over three radians. Let's also get a decimal approximation for this. So we have pi divided by three, which would be approximately 1.0472. Now a couple quick things to point out here. If we did find the antiderivative in terms of x, not u, we would have left the limits of integration from zero to one-third as we were originally given. Let's also go back to the graphing calculator just for a moment. To verify this result on the graphing calculator, let's first verify we're in radian mode by pressing the mode key. Notice how radian is highlighted. We'll go back to the home screen. 
and we'll enter four thirds times arctangent one minus arctangent zero, which would be second tangent for inverse tangent or arctangent one, close parenthesis, minus second tangent zero, close parenthesis, close parenthesis, and enter, which does verify our result. And of course, the other option would be to enter the entire definite integral into the graphing calculator. To do this, we would press math, scroll up to option nine for function integration, enter. Enter the integrand function of four divided by the quantity one plus nine x squared, close parenthesis, comma x, comma zero, comma one third. close parenthesis and enter. Once again, verifying our result is correct. I hope you found this helpful.